Hello everybody, my name is Caleb Caron, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I know I've been throwing a lot of astro vlogs at you guys, more than I should, but I'm really comfortable with my gear now, and everything, like I, I get set up real quick, and I'm just really comfortable with it, so I, I try to get out as many videos as I can, because it's really fun. Um, so today is a new video, it's a different video, I'm going to be showing you how I... How I uh, process the Eagle Nebula. Um, this either might go better or worse than the last one, so we'll see. Because usually, you for sometimes I forget, or pe we forget when we're making these videos. We forget how we process our images. At least I do. <laughs> um, like when you're not when you're not recording or anything, you don't really think about it. You're just you're just processing. But in the in the, when you're recording, you got really got to think about it and all the steps. So um, we're gonna get started. So this is a TIFF file from my CCD, my ZWO 183MC Pro, uh, 111 gain, um, five minute exposures. This is 45 minutes of data on the on the Eagle Nebula M16 or the Pillager Creation. So you want for the mode, you want the photo to be in 16 bit because you get the camera raw filter and all that. Um, let it open. It's really cool little tool. I love it. So usually what I do is I start with a curve or not curves, a levels adjustment, and I just boop, bring it up, boom. You can see the nebula popping out. Usually I make a new layer. I go here. I uh, control A, control C, paste it, and I'll just name it C for curves. I'll know. Then I go to curves adjustments. Um, bring it over here. We're just gonna do a nice, nice curves adjustment, like so, like that, and now you can see the pillars. I know it's framed weird, but uh, I I just flip the image, which is fine. So what I do next is I um, go back to levels, and then I do this. This is the uh, color sample tool. And then you, I just click on a random part for a really quick color correction or color balance. Boom. There we go. Color balanced. Um, now you can really see nice background. You got the Eagle Nebula. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to do another curves adjustment so we can bring out that color. Like that. Get a little contrast in there. So now we're really, really seeing the Eagle Nebula in there with all its glory. Beautiful target. Love it so much. Um, next, I, I'm going to make another layer. Forget that I like making layers. We're going to name it L for levels. Just for the video sake. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to lower down the levels like so. You, you don't want to go past this because you'll clip everything. So you want to stay like right, right there. There we go. We got a nice, nice black gray background. You usually you can do this. Um, where is it? Right here. The sample tool, and you right click it, or yeah, right click it, and then call the sample, and then you can set your black and white point, or black and gray point, or yeah, black and black and white point, and then uh, you can play around with it in levels, which I can do now. Um, it looks leveled, so I probably won't do that actually. So now I go back into curves again because I lowered down the levels or I lowered down the black point. So we're gonna stretch that one last time. You can really see it now. This is really fun to process. I love this target. It's my first time shooting it. 45 minutes of data. So I'm actually going to rotate the image because uh, I want it. Back to where it was. One more rotation and we're good. Boom. You can really see the eagle. Look at that. So nice. Well, it's a long photo, isn't it? Damn. So we have a lot of gradient going on here. But guess what? We have we have plugins for this. And I love this plugin. And I'll show you what it, what it does. So I'm going to just grab that because I don't want uh, it's an ugly circle. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is I, I want to keep this part so I'm gonna inverse that 
so I can keep this. It won't touch that. Go to I got a RC Astro Gradient. I, this 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 plugin costs like fifty dollars, but it's so worth it. I use a medium and fine adjustments. I'm gonna click OK. It's gonna let I'm gonna let that run real quick. Boom. Now it looks more even. So now we're gonna deselect that. Uh, I don't have to make another layer. I should have made another layer, but I forgot. That's okay though. You know, you know what's going on here. So we're gonna do another level adjustment. Lower that. Can we stretch it more? I don't think so. It's really noisy now. This looks good. What do you think? This looks good. This looks good. Um, maybe one. Let's let's try it out. Let's just test this out. Let's do a test curve. Yeah. You know what? I could fix that noise. We'll do one more curve. Just like so. Boom. There we go. I see some detail. We're seeing a lot of detail here. We're going to go back to levels again and just lower that down. Just like that. It's really noisy as you can see. Um, which is fine. We can fix it. It's fine. It's fine. So we're going to make a new layer and fix that. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna name it N for noise. We're gonna. Right, what I do is I go into gradient. Um, not gradient. I go to camera raw, camera raw filter, and I just uh, kind of zoom in a little bit. And we're gonna go to detail, and then you're gonna go into luminance, and I just bump. You don't want to bump it up too much. It looks like an oil painting, so you want to like kind of like. That's good, right? Good, huh? Not that much. Just like that. And there's there's plugins. I have actions right here for that this kind of stuff. I like the camera raw filter, it's nice. And then I do a little bit of a color. You don't want to do too much because it'll make it blotchy and ugly, like my old photos. I don't know what I was doing. I didn't go this much, don't worry. But like I, I did a good amount to make it look really bad. But, um, that looks good. There we go. So, now we got the noise reduction. Um, I'm going to crop the image because it needs to be cropped. I'm going to bring it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to bring her in. There we go. No, the noise is somewhat gone. We have a good, cool looking image going on here. Um,. So after you do noise reduction, you really lose detail. If I go into history, you lose a lot of detail here. I don't know if you could tell. What the, oh, huh, oops. You lose a lot of detail in the image. Oh, I don't know what it's doing, but uh, you get what I'm saying. So. Some details kind of gone. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a sharpen layer. So I learned this from Trevor uh, Astro Backyard um, a while ago. He has an old video like two years ago, and I went back to it and I saw this and I was like, wow. So I'm gonna make sharpen layer. S for sharpen. So we have. The soft layer, and then we got the sharpen layer. So what I do, you go into filter, sharpen, smart sharpen, and then here's a preview. You can tell way more in detail. We're not gonna do too much. So I click OK. So now it's sharpened, and it looks much different. See the detail? Now this is the coolest freaking technique I've ever seen for sharpening. So I got the, you got this layer, you get the, you get the soft layer, you click on it and you drag it over the sharpen layer that you made. And now the soft layer is on top of the, of the sharpen layer. And then you go into this, the, what is it? The eraser tool and you just erase over it and you get that detail back. This is selective selective sharpening and I freaking love this this has helped so much with my photos just to get that detail back after doing a noise reduction I just kind of you know 
screw it around with it like 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 this that looks really nice um we're gonna you got a little you can see in the preview there so what i'm gonna do now is just merge visible <clears throat> i don't want to drag this video on too long so obviously there's more to do there's gonna be a star reduction so i'm gonna do that right now i'm gonna make a new layer again because you know huh stars we're gonna do a nice star oh my camera's here we're gonna do a nice star reduction um usually my camera's on that side now it's right here so we're gonna do a star reduction so what we do is you go to select color range and then you go to highlights and then it picks the stars maybe like that like that and it's gonna select the nebula I could fix that you go to lasso tool you hold alt and then you just boop like that I don't I didn't I didn't want the pillars of creation to be in that so do that and then I usually go to select again modify expand uh, I'll expand by two and so you want to make you want to create halos when you do it uh, modify again feather and I'll feather by two why not and then you go into filter other minimum and then you can see the preview here all the stars are less bright now there you go looks looks better now right I'm not I'm not a huge fan of a bunch of stars but I do like stars in there but I'm not like a huge fan of it looks much better there we go looking good I want to I want to I want to play around with the color now um, see, usually you can play around with the channels like this but it's not what I did what's going on here this is not what I did with the photo you got the blues and the, the reds obviously got the HA but we don't have to go through that right now so I'm gonna make a new layer Move this up because I like making layers. Color. I go into camera raw filter once again, and then I go into this right here, the HSL adjustments, and kind of brighten that up a bit, make it nice and. 50 would you know 50 looks kind of nice I'm liking that like a nice bright red it's looking really good I can't tell if this is better or worse than the other photo but I like this but this is how I make my videos or my not my videos this is how I make my my photos this is how I process my photos and um I don't I can't tell if I forgot anything cuz I'm thinking about it too hard but this is how I make my photos how I process them in Photoshop if you enjoyed this video uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel um, we're almost at 150 subs or in this case almost 200 subs which is awesome so hit, hit that subscribe button and the like button it means a lot to me I appreciate you guys from the last video all the comments uh, it, it, your, the comments is what keeps me like making these videos because if I didn't have those comments I'd be like why am I making these videos but I appreciate it so uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video I should have another vlog or like another like astro vlog coming so uh, I appreciate you guys um, I'll see you guys in the next one clear skies